Hello, how's it going? Tendro here and welcome back to another Minecraft Lands of Zankar episode. Today we're going to build a shop. Today we're going to have a shop and I want to get started on a house. And to build that shop I need more gold. I went mining for some, or no, I went hunting for some of that gold from the zombie pigmen. And that's up above on my chests, up above there. You see I'm getting a neat little, neat little look out of this whole area. But I was mining down a little bit lower just to actually start a regular mine. And that's why I'm starting today. See, I have a whole bunch dug out. No gold yet, but I'm going to find gold. I'm determined. Oops, too far. And so, I started this little area, and I just wanted to bring you all along to do this. Our first piece of diamond mined in this world. Now, I found some other diamond in a shipwreck, or a jungle temple, or no, 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 desert temple. There we go. I found some diamond in the desert temple already before, but this is the first bit of diamond that is mined ourselves. So I just wanted to bring you along with that before I continue on and look for more gold. So I'm going to go do that, and I'll come back to you whenever we have all the gold that we need. Alright, so checking in with you guys really quickly, just wanted to say I lost a little bit of footage for some reason. Not a whole lot, thankfully, but um, just a little bit, so I don't know why, I just said file corrupted. Anyway, the only thing that really happened in it were that I got the pieces of gold that I needed, which is super awesome, crafted that gold block, explained a little bit of my plans, which are just going to be going to build a shop and have a wood shop and have a place for everybody to come and purchase wood from. So I guess not all that important. But anyway, just wanted to catch you up really fast. Alright, here we go. So this is where all of the shops are going to be. A little like central marketplace kind of town square sort of a deal where everybody can gather and unite, I guess. Different festivals and fun things like that. This is one of the pre-built structures that we had created um, for the server with some basic server shops. So this does not spawn normally. This is not a natural thing by any means. This was all built specifically for this server. And you'll see here we have the golden gadgets. So we can get powered rails, clocks, and light weighted pressure plates. These all use the same ingredients as it would cost to craft them, except the gold are cut in half. So, uh, same thing here, we have the golden apple, golden carrot, and glistening melon slice. Again, just all for the half the price of what it would actually cost to craft it in regular game. And the purpose of that is so that we can be more incentivized to purchase things rather than to craft with our gold. So instead of spending two pieces of gold to get a pressure plate, we can spend one. So fun things like that. And then if you go around back here, you can see the inside, which, yeah, just him, the shopkeeper. And you get the villager spawn egg with your block of emerald and block of gold. So without further ado, we're going to get a villager spawn egg, which is going to spawn our shopkeeper, I hope. I really actually have no idea how this works. This is my first time trying it out. So fingers crossed this goes well. Anyway, all of this area is going to be that marketplace, like I said, and then everybody's going to be building their own shops wherever they want, but I'm going to build mine here, and I believe some other players are going to be doing some of theirs here as well. We'll have to stick around and find out. Um, looks like I'm the first one here. I'm going to go ahead and pick this spot back here right off to the back, just because I like this little spot of land. I'm going to go ahead and clear this out real quick, all the dirt off this one layer and come right back and we'll see what we can come up with as far as our design. And I forgot to mention before, here's the back of the shop. There's the wonder wares, which are just items that are not typically found in regular survival, like a wonder XP storage. So this is super cool. This will let you store your experience so that if you die, you won't lose it and you can go back and pick it up later. But you need 32 topaz gems, which are special blocks that were added into this server. Again, not a regular survival item. These can be found inside of different treasure areas. So the desert temples, uh, sunken treasure, all the kind of things like that. So you need 32 of those and another star to get the wonder elytra, which is a regular elytra, but the same efficiency and strength as diamond armor. It's going to be 16 amethyst gems and a regular elytra. The wonder armor stand tome. I'm not really too sure about what this is. Golden nugget must not be all that valuable. Probably just to kind of mess around with armor stands or something like that. And then you have the wonder elytra plus fancy. It's got protection 4, unbreaking 3, mending, and it's diamond plated. It's all that fancy stuff. And that one is 64 amethyst, am, blah, amethyst gems and a wonder elytra. So that's expensive. 
We might come back to you a little bit later on in the game, but not right now. Too expensive. Anyway, let's go build this shop. Alright, so I'll probably start off somewhere, maybe, maybe right there. And have like a kind of backward C shape so that everybody else on the server can come by here and just, you know, interact with the shopkeeper and buy their wood and be on their way. Pretty simple, so I'm probably going to do, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven spaces wide? I think that would be enough. Yeah, that should, that should be plenty. So that'll be like the exterior posts. Let's see, let's do those a little bit taller. Oh, you know what I should have brought is scaffolding. I didn't even think about that. Well, what a wasted opportunity. Alright, so I'm thinking we'll go up one here, another one, and then what did I do? Come in one. Probably, or no, oops, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. Excuse me for one second. This needs to be here, and this needs to come down. I'm trying to mirror things. I can copy. Do that kind of thing, and then one more, one more, and then we'll do three. Perfect. Okay, so let's see if that gives us our kind of desired shape. Yeah, I'm liking that. Except I'm going to replace these here with the dark oak logs. Okay. There we go. Give that nice darker feel. That'll be good. And then I'll throw the shopkeeper probably somewhere right in the middle here. Let's see. Alright, so I've got a few of each different type of plank here. Let me organize this real quick and go from lightest to darkest. Probably something like that. I think that'll do good. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then repeat. Oops. Oops. That's not that's not repeating. Repeat. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Let's see, except shifted one more. So this one's gonna start here. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this should be it. So one more dark oak there and one more acacia there. And there we go. A nice little nice little decor floor. I like that. So this right here is going to be where our shopkeeper is going to be standing. Right in the middle there. So I'll probably put a little space out around right here, I'm thinking. And I'm going to go with oak slabs for this. Across there. Nice. So yeah, he'll be standing right here, little shopkeeper dude. Alright, so as far as overall design goes, this is how I want to have it. I'll probably throw some more details in here also. I'm going to have the top coming up and going forward a little bit. Um, anyway, as we saw in here, we need to right-click a chest to select it. So what that's talking about is the shopkeeper has to have a place to store its goods and then save the money that it gets. And that chest is what we're going to be right-clicking to, to be able to put in all of the wares and goods that the shopkeeper is going to have. And so I want to have that right behind him. So he's going to be right here is where the shopkeeper is going to... Actually, I might even put a door right here just to make it look like he has access. Put a little door right in there, be like a little vault. Yeah, we'll do that. So it'll be right here, but then the chest is going to be sitting just right behind him. So it's going to be right here on this block and right here on this block. So I'm going to build these this wall out, put a corner in here. Oh, nope, one more back. Like this. That way I can have this wall coming in and going all the way out to here. Just like that. And we'll go ahead and cap off this corner. Oops. Like that. And we'll throw one. Is there a middle point? There is. Perfect. So we'll throw that middle point there. And what about on this side? Let's get rid of that. Is there a middle point over here? There is. Right here. Awesome. So this is going to be where that is. This is even. This is odd. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here to be able to update everything that is going on. And let me actually go ahead and create that real quick. And so I'm actually going to have just like this. It's going to go in there. And then we're going to have access to the trader off on this side. Ugh, I'm seriously so disappointed that I forgot my scaffolding. That would have been such a good thing to have right here. But I didn't bring it. And that's about all we can do. So anyway, I'm going to actually not go forward with it, but just go up. Uh, I can reach that. Perfect. One, two, three... One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so that's gonna be the height for the front of it, and I want it to go upwards towards the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start right here. Go up one layer. We're gonna go up two layers, then up three, and so on and so forth. And I'll see what we have whenever that's finished. 
So, I do like how this is looking. Looking kind of neat. It's missing a little bit off the top though. It needs like a cap. And so I think I'm going to get maybe a light colored. Yeah, I'll do a light colored. We'll do some fences across the top. All right, getting some sleep and we'll go check out what it looks like from a distance. You know, it's coming together. I definitely don't think it's a bad looking thing. It just, it just needs a whole lot more detail, I think. So let's think, let's get some trap doors made too. That's got some funness to it. Now I want to go even more than this. I want to add some buttons. All right, so here's what I think the final version is actually going to look like until I get the banners and lanterns in. But I don't think that looks too bad. It's kind of a whole bunch of just spunky randomness. And I like it. I think it looks good. All right, so here's the back side of it. We've got a nice little sign, employees only. A little area in here to hold all of our wood. And a little area for the shopkeeper to access. It won't actually access them, but it's for the fun, for the story, right? And then from the front, I went ahead and put up here 10 rows wood shop on each side. 10 rows wood shop. Who do you think is going to be the first person to press every single button here? I wonder if anybody, whoops, I wonder if anybody on this server that watches this video can press every single button here. That's my challenge to you. Good luck. I'll bet you'll miss one. Hee hee hee. Alright, so I think it's finally time to use this guy. So we're going to right and left click to select this shop type. Buying, selling, book, trading, buying. Okay, so I've been recommended to do the trading. I was told that that was easiest to use. Then we're going to do sneak and right left to do the object. Okay. Creeper, witch, sign, villager, creeper. Okay, so villager. Yep. And then I think we have to go do the chest that it's going to use. Chest selected. Okay. Right place a clock to... Right click a block to place your shopkeeper. Okay, well, it's going to go right there. Wait, no. You're facing... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... Just face me now. Check your creative trading shop. Trade sh trade items with players. Add items you want to wait. Add items you want to sell to your chest. Then right click the shop while sneaking to modify cost. Okay, so let's go see. Let's try it out. So we're gonna add jungle log. Actually, let's add one of every type. Okay, so we've got one of each. And it says sh shift and right click you. Okay, okay, this is interesting. Set shop name. Ooh, yes wood shop okay cool that's neat okay we can view the chest inventory nice you can toggle baby variant it's a baby <laughs> that's fun Perf profession choose the variant anyway we're getting into too many details i'm gonna do here is jungle log oh wait what am i doing how do i set the prices all right, so I talked to Steampunk Miner, who is hosting everything here, and he helped me figure it out. Here is the final version of my wood shop. So he helped me to figure out what my issue was, and now I have one gold ingot for 16 logs of any variant. So that's how that pricing piece is going to work out. And you see here is all the wood I have. I need to get a whole hopper set up that feeds different logs and stuff into here so that it can stay stocked up, and I don't have to come by and visit here too often. But I had an idea for something that I wanted to do, and that's going to require me to take two stacks of each of these out. So I'm not going to be starting the whole thing off with too much, but uh, yeah, let's go, let's go pay a visit to some friends. Alright, so we are here at Dream Shizou's base, and uh, I just wanted to stop by and pay him a little visit to help him get started. I said, hello Dream Shizou, starting a world can take some time. Here's a small gift to get you started. Enjoy your friendly ocean dweller, and left him with one stack of each type of wood, except for the acacia. I didn't have enough acacia, so sorry, Dream Shizo. Hopefully that'll work for you. But uh, we've got one more pit stop to make, so uh, let's go there. All right, and here we are at Tahumahu's base or Ta's base, and uh, he's living in a cave still, or is he? But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and throw down another one here, and load him up with all of the forms of wood. Alright, so I put on there, hello, Ta. Are you still living in a cave, or is there more to see? Here is a gift to move things along. Your friendly ocean dweller. Hee hee hee. That was fun. 
Alright, let's go home. Alright, so another little bit that got lost during my recording earlier was these little turtle eggs, which now they have pretty close to hatched. It's pretty cool. So I got some turtle eggs laid over here, and also we got some mail. Looks like we got some mail. It's, Dear friends, it's been almost a month from the crash. For more than 20 days, we are stuck on this strange planet. Slowly, we are learning to live here. But what if I tell you there might be a way to go home? I found an ancient book about a long-lost civilization. The people of this civilization were so advanced that they had found the secrets of flying. Even their cities were soaring in the sky. The legend says that the only way to go to them was through a magical portal, portal hidden deep underground in a dangerous dungeon, guarded by a dragon. I don't know if this is legend or... I, I don't know if this legend is true or not, but this gives me hope that one day we may be able to go home back to Earth. What do you think? Shall we go find it? Um, yes, absolutely. By Dream Shizo. So Dream Shizo sent out mail. We're going to use lecterns in this series for mail. So we're going to go home or go go home. I read the title. We're going to go places and place the mail down. And then they're going to read that and take it and then store it and whatever else. So I'm going to go ahead and put that over here. And also want to go and show you one more little piece just for the fun of it. Oh, I almost missed. And that is down here, down at the very bottom. I got a little enchanting setup, and I got this beauty. Unbreaking 3, Fortune 2, and Efficiency 4. It's not the very best it could be, but it's very, very close, and it's super awesome, which actually helped me to build this tunnel all the way down here and get the gold that I needed. And, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And I actually found something down at the end of that cave that is super exciting for me. I'm really excited to go and check it out, but I can't do that right now because I'm out of time. And so if you're interested to see what's down at the end, make sure you stick around for next week's episode. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and cut things off. I want to say thank you so much for watching. This has been a bit of a longer episode, so thanks for sticking around to the end. If you did like this video, hit that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe to see next week's video to find out what is down that way. Thank you again so much for watching. I will see you next time.